So I was doing my morning energy live stream today, and I'll be honest with you, I have not been paying attention that much to some of the new news around some new products coming out. I've been paying attention to stuff like the RTX cards and stuff from Intel coming out very shortly, but one thing that I have not been paying attention to is rumors regarding stuff that AMD is dropping. And when I got a press release in my email talking about some new processors coming from AMD, I was a little bit shocked. But let me talk about them real quick, give you the breakdown, and give you all my predictions as as what these processors might be able to do in terms of performance. So how about we get right into that after a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Spizy. Spizy is used to help parents monitor both iOS and Android phones without the need to jailbreak or root the device. You can monitor all types of data, including messages, call logs, photos, videos, browsing history, and various social media accounts. Check the link down below to learn more. So as I mentioned before, a press release came out from AMD talking about their Pro Series processors and some new Athlon processors, which Pro Series processors in a nutshell, which are not that exciting, are really just processors that come with better warranties and better lifespans for stuff like the 2600, 2700, and such. They're pro-graded processors for the enterprise or high-end solutions. So unless you're one of those people out there, you really don't care too much about those. But what does interest me as a budget-minded tech YouTuber is the 200 GE the 220GE and the 240GE from AMD. These are new Athlon processors and they are basically going to be, well, the competition to something like the Pentium lineup from Intel. But before we dive into that, let me backtrack real quick to the Intel processors. Intel has had a really good budget offering with the Pentium G5400 and G4560, the 5400 being the newer version. The G4560 came onto the scene with a dual-core hyper-threaded processor, which basically removed the whole i3 lineup for being just strictly dual-core hyper-threaded processors, and then later with the 8000 series, turned them into true quad-core processors. So the Pentiums were basically the new i3s with two cores and four threads. They were really good for being able to play most modern titles like CSGO and Overwatch and most esports related titles at really respectable settings and if you pair it with something like a 1050 or even a GT 1030 you got good entry level performance at around 400 to 450 dollars. But now these processors slot in just nicely into that price range with the 2000 GE being a dual core hyper threaded processor or SMT when it comes to AMD processors. So it is a two core processor with four threads and a clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz and it does come with three graphic compute units which means this cpu is actually going to have onboard graphics which is really good uh, for people who want to have a system that is just a office pc you're gonna see a lot of these show up in some office pcs from hp dell and the likes and that integrated graphics allows it to fit that niche very well now there's two things that are very exciting about this cpu we don't have exact performance numbers of it yet because they haven't been officially released and benchmarked but we will definitely get our hands on one when they are released to be able to give you some up to they benchmarks and kind of do a super budget gaming PC once they are released. But the two important things that are very interesting to me are the TDP and the price. The TDP of the CPU comes in at 35 watts and the price is $55. There's a couple things I want to note. These CPUs are not overclockable. That's the one thing that really hurts AMD here is the fact that these CPUs are not overclockable. If AMD released these CPUs with the ability to overclock them, they would pretty much just kill the whole Pentium lineup for Intel. You would have been able to overclock this thing to something like 3.7, 3.8 gigahertz on a cheap B450 motherboard, and you would have been super satisfied with the results, and it would have most likely stomped the Pentium processor. But this being a locked 3.2 gigahertz kind of leaves room for Intel to have an opportunity to keep the Pentium lineup like the G5400 and still beat the AMD Ryzen CPU, because AMD CPUs just by very nature fall behind the Intel counterpart in terms of single threaded performance. That's just fact. Every single game you test, more than likely than not, the Intel CPU is going to come out on top in terms of single threaded performance and just get a few more frames in the counterpart. But that $55 price tag really makes it interesting because at $55, you are getting a CPU with two cores and four threads, and the Pentium G5400, albeit right now, is around $60, $60 to $70 actually some cases. So you're saving about $20 bucks sometimes, depending on where you buy the CPUs. You can get great deals on the G5400 here and there, and I bet the price drop will be much more significant on the G5400 after the CPU hits shelves to compete directly with it. But this CPU can be a great entry-level option. Now, I did 
did mention there is a 220 GE and a 240 GE. The numbers on those CPUs have not been disclosed yet. That's going to be disclosed in a later date. It says right here Q4 2018. So when Q4 rolls around, which is very soon, you'll see more numbers based on those CPUs. But what's my takeaway from this announcement? Well, I see a really good opportunity for AMD to clear up that super budget sector that Intel has been pretty much dominating with the G5400. The G5400 has been a pretty good entry level CPU that's not an APU. But if you're building a $400 to $500 gaming PC in 2018 with new prices, you're kind of stuck going one of two ways. Either going for a Ryzen APU, a Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5 APU in the 2200G or 2400G, or go for something like the Pentium G5400 with let's say a 1050 or a GT 1030 and that would be your entry level price point. It'll be very interesting to see how these compete with the Pentium G5400 and how they compete with their own lineup like the Ryzen 3 2200G and the Ryzen 5 2400G and I would love to see what these other CPUs will have to offer. But yeah guys that is the basic announcement of the new Athlons coming from AMD. I would love to know in the comment section down below what you think. If you made it all the way to the end of this video please comment Athlon in the comment section down below along with your thoughts about these new Athlon CPUs. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think these CPUs are a good value for the money for people who are looking at $400 to $450 budget PCs or maybe even a $300 PC if you throw in a used GPU here and there. I would love to know in the comment section down below. Also, if you do like this video, please consider leaving a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. And also, if you haven't already, hit the bell notification to know when every single video goes live from the Toasty Bros. And consider joining our Discord community to continue this discussion on there with our fellow Discord members. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.